that'd be a nice perk to have. Another nice perk to have would be being able to find fried cheese curds in Washington. They don't exist. And being from Wisconsin, I do go through cheese curd withdrawal. It is not good. By the way, if any of you haven't had fried cheese curds, they are... They are horrible for... Wait, why is he immune? What? He's... He was shooting me and damaging me. Why was he immune? What? Okay. That's two rockets just down the drain. Ooh. So yeah, this is Valus Tower. Basically, his deal is being a boss from Duke Nukem. Or, not really. I don't know. I'm a bit too old for the whole Duke Nukem thing. Not too old, what? I'm a bit too young for the Duke Nukem thing. I got my age adjectives reversed. Wasn't really around for Duke Nukem 3D. That was my grenade. Okay. Or was it? So I wouldn't, I wouldn't really know. Wasn't really around for Duke Nukem 3D. And Duke Nukem Forever. I'm pretty sure if I played that, that would just make me want to gouge my eyes out, so... Yeah. I don't know. This this does seem like the kind of weird overkill thing that they would have in, uh... Well, not, not in the original Duke Nukem games, but, like, like the Duke Nukem... Duke Nukem Forever. D did I say Duke Nukem 3D? Was the, the bad one? No, I meant... If I said that, I meant to say Duke Nukem Forever. Duke Nukem Forever is bad. Which is weird, because Gearbox made that, and Gearbox is good. Gearbox made that, right? I don't actually know. Oh, he's got the missiles. Luckily, the missiles are actually pretty easy to dodge. And his machine gun there. Is that a minigun? Hold on, I'm going to scope in on it. It it looks like it is, but the barrels don't spin. I don't, I'm just, I'm just going to call it a machine gun. His machine gun there doesn't really do that much damage. It does, it does a considerable amount of damage. It'll get your shields down pretty quickly. But it's not something that will kill you immediately. It's not like that freaking Nexus Guardians bullshit. Oh my god, I hate that. I hate that raid. I, I, I know... I know you shouldn't quit raids and all that when you start them, or quit strike missions. But... I, I'm, I'm not playing that one, okay? If you've played in a game... Oh my god, please. Please, for the love of god. For the love of god, guy. Guy, please. Just hold out for 20 seconds and let me respawn. If you've played in a game, if you've played in a strike mission with me, uh, my game tank is Lord Mongoose 001, by the way. If you remember playing in a strike mission with me and starting that, and I quit, like, right after the mission starts, I apologize. I'm not going to make myself suffer through that. It is not worth any reward. Unless I get a legendary item for completing that, I am not doing that one. Dear Lord, those were the missiles. Another thing you have to watch out for when you're doing these strike missions is that you gotta you gotta keep an eye on your environment, you know? You gotta make sure that there aren't any of the regular enemies shooting at you. And if you're clearing out the regular enemies, you gotta make sure that the big guy isn't shooting at you. Oh my, this is not this is not happening as quickly as I would like it to. Oh. Oh. Luckily the uh his line of sight is er, his head is pretty high. So he has me in his line of sight. But the line from the barrel of his gun to me is not direct. So what would that be like direct line of gun? Is that what that would be called? I don't know. Oh, Lord! I'm gonna die! Do not want... Can I, can I get back up here? Can I, can I get back up here? No? God? Okay. Gotta... Yeah, uh... Okay, fine. I'll just Grendel you. Dead. <laughs> Wait, don't I have the item that gives you more money from Cabal? God... Dang it! I swear to God, I wish it would just... I wish a pop-up would just pop up and say, Hey, 
you have this item. And you're about to fun fight, and you're about to fun, you're about to fight a ton of Cabal. Would you like to use this item? I wish that would pop up, so that I could be all like, yes, because God knows I forget that I have those things and I don't end up using them. I don't even know how much more money I would have if that just automatically popped up. And I'm dead! I swear to God, I'm usually better than this. It's just, I'm trying to play and do commentary at the same time. There's a, there's a thing, there's a thing you may have heard of called the, uh, the Let's Players Curse or whatever. It's not really a curse so much as it is just, just a logical thing, right? You're using a large portion of your brain to do the commentary and form coherent thoughts and sentences. So naturally, that portion of your brain isn't open to process the information you're getting from the video game. You know? It's kind of like running Google Chrome and playing Fallout New Vegas at the same time. Your frame rate in New Vegas is going to stutter a bit more because your computer's using a lot of memory to uh, run Google Chrome in the background. It's the same kind of thing. Your brain's a computer, okay? It's got a space for memory. It's got a space for... It's, 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 got, like a, it's got like a CPU in it, it's, except it's not really a CPU because it's a brain. It's, it's got... Okay, right? It's got friggin' memory storage, it's got temporary memory storage, and it's got processing. Okay, that's that's what it's got in it. That's what your brain has. Yeah. And that's kind of the... That, that kind of ties into the whole thing that people talk about when they're like, Oh, we only use... We only use like 10% of our brain's capacity. You know? That has some truth to it, but... It, it's not like the other 90% is going unused. The other 90% is just partitioned up to a bunch of different things. And I'm, I'm not a biologist. I might be completely wrong. But I just I just know that... I, I, I just know that the whole thing about using 10% of our brain is a whole load of crap. A uh, portion of our brain is being used to automatically breathe. By the way, you are now breathing manually. A uh, portion of it's used for local memory and all that, and memory. If we used 100% of our brain for thought, then we wouldn't breathe and we would die. Yes. Because it's friggin' getting the electrical impulses and the chemical signals telling our lungs to inflate and deflate and all that, and blah, 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 and all this and that, and horses and magoos, and... I got rockets! Boom! Boom! Guess who's almost dead? I'm almost dead. Yes. Yes. Ow. That hurt. What? God, there's freaking phalanxes over here. By the way, I do like the uh, I do like the parallels that are drawn between this game and Halo, right? Like you got guys with shields here. Okay, you got the guys with shields here. You think? Oh, there were guys with shields in Halo. Okay. In order to kill the guys with shields in Halo, you had to shoot their hand that was holding the gun, then they would flinch, drop their shield, and you could shoot them. That made sense. Okay, so let's try shooting them in the hand. They drop their shield, shoot them, bam! I mean, that, that just makes sense, right? It's the thing that we've already learned from Halo that they then put into this game. I just missed that grenade. Yes. Uh, speaking of cerebral capacity and all that, I'm, say, I'm saying that because I saw Lucy recently, and then after that, freaking everyone was talking about, oh, what would happen if you used 100% of your brain? And then I'm just like, oh my gosh, please stop. Uh, Lucy, by the way, most ridiculous movie I've ever seen. Uh, oh, I don't even remember who that is. Is that someone I know? I don't know. Ah. Uh, Lucy, friggin' most ridiculous, ridiculous movie I've ever seen. I swear to God, freaking Abraham Lincoln Vampire Fighter made more sense than that. Friggin' basically, freaking Scarlett Johansson takes a whole bunch of drugs. 
she's forced to take a whole, not really forced, she accidentally gets forced to, as circumstances and all that, she takes a whole bunch of drugs that give her a crap ton of energy, which for some reason makes her brain use more of her brain for thought, which for whatever reason allows her to learn a language which she's, she just, she lets her speak Chinese out of nowhere for some reason, okay? And I know there was stuff and all this and that, and she's been hearing Chinese, and maybe she could do this and that to learn it, but no, no. Okay, just, just, just stop with all your kind of iffy logic. Uh, she learns Chinese somehow, right? She becomes able to do all sorts of things that aren't actually possible. She gains psychokinetic powers, and then she becomes an omnipotent time-traveling being. Because she has access to 100% of her quote-unquote cerebral capacity. It is, <laughs> it is the most ridiculous thing I've ever seen. Uh, on the other hand, I also saw that one, that one movie, As Above, So Below, recently, which I'm tired of hearing the title, but I actually did like that movie quite a lot. I liked how it integrated the, uh, the mythology and all that of all the stuff integrated the mythology and the Egyptian crap and all that other stuff. I really like that. It was it was kind of weird how it ended. Kind of ended strangely. I'm not going to spoil it for any of you. But the way it ended doesn't make sense. Wait, did the guy die? No, he's still alive. Uh, the way it ended didn't really make sense, but the rest of it was pretty enjoyable. I, I enjoyed it. Yeah. I'm just talking about movies at this point. That's because, I mean, as, as much as I love this game, there really isn't that much to talk about. You go around shooting people. I killed the guy! I killed the guy. Good, I was running out of things. Two network keys. What? That's a crazy thing. I, I only get plus 12. What? By the way, guys, if you're playing this game, do bounties. Okay? Just do bounties. They give you a ton of experience. They give you good rewards. And best of all, they give you more Vanguard reputation than any combination of patrols and strike missions. Like you saw there, I got 12 rep for doing this. You get like 100 rep for doing a bounty. And bounties can be as easy as getting 50 kills with headshots. Uh, like over here. That target Fogoth Vanguard bounty. That one I can't actually do be my god. <laughs> oh, I got a fancy hat. Is it better than my hat? No, it's not. It's not better. I mean, it really isn't. So yeah, that's going to be all for now, everybody. I'm not Slayer 49. And this has been Dustin Hoffman. -y. Good night. I mean, I made some food and now it's cold. I don't know why. I went upstairs, made food, came downstairs, started recording. Now the food is cold. I haven't actually eaten any of it, and it's cold. <laughs> Priorities. I got them straight. That was a good carrot. By the way, pro health tip. Okay? If you're cooking, and you use sugar or fat, or oil, or whatever, to add flavor to things. Obviously, those things aren't really good for you. So, if you can add flavor to your dishes using spices instead of sugar and fat, that will get you a lot of flavor for significantly fewer calories. Also, the sugar industry is evil, by the way. Just, just throwing that out there. They had Michelle Obama officially rescind, or they, they like harassed Michelle Obama until she took back what she said about how you gotta watch out for sugar in your diet, which is dumb. I don't know. Also, there's sugar in everything. Even the bread that you get probably has sugar in it. Look, look at the ingredients. Sugar in your bread. 
swear to God, zero people are still watching. Well, I just ate that carrot. I'm actually done.